Welcome to this channel, myself Dr. T. N. Demna. Today we will discuss one of the important topic in pathology called leukopenia. We know leukopenia is decrease in number of WBC. Decrease in number of WBC. We know normal range of leukocyte is 4000 to 4000 to 11000. If there is decrease of leukocyte count less than 4000, we call it leukopenia. And we know leukopenia comprises of neutropenia and granulocytopenia neutropenia granulocytopenia and lymphopenia robin says that leuco lymphopenia robin says leukopenia com basically comprises of neutropenia and it is very very common in case of leukopenia and lymphopenia is less common less common so let us see what are the causes of lymphopenia the causes of lymphopenia are number one is the advanced stage of is the advanced stage of hiv number two if the patient treated with the glucocorticoid or any steroid glucocorticoid or any steroid or any cytotoxic drug and any cytotoxic drug will cause lymphopenia if the patient is suffering from any autoimmune disease, the patient will have lymphopenia. And number five is the malnutrition is another important cause of lymphopenia. The most important cause of lymphopenia is the viral infection. Viral infection. Now we'll di we'll discuss how viral infection will cause lymphopenia. Okay. Robin says in lymphopenia it is not because of the decrease in number of lymphocytes actually it is because of redistribution of the lymphocyte so what will happen if there is any kind of viral infection it will produce it will produce type 1 interferon type 1 interferon the type 1 interferon will what will what type 1 interferon will do it will cause number one activation of the T lymphocyte it will cause activation of T lymphocyte and number two the change or alter the expression of surface protein surface protein and thereby and thereby they change the migration of the T lymphocyte so they alter the migration migration of T lymphocyte now both these two activity what it will uh, they will do the number one they will cause increased sequestration of increased sequestration of T lymphocyte in the lymph node and number two they will increase the adherence of the adherence of the T lymphocyte T lymphocyte with the endothelial cell endothelial cell so both this activity they will cause lymphopenia so in lymphopenia in case of viral infection the type 1 interferon is responsible and it activates the T lymphocyte and they alter the migration of the T lymphocyte which leads to sequestration of the T lymphocyte in the lymph node and increase the adherence of the T lymphocyte with the endothelial cell lining leading to lymphopenia so in case of leukopenia, neutropenia is very very important and it needs separate discussion and I will discuss the neutropenia in the heading of the leukopenia in the next video. I hope this video has given you some insight and uh, solve you some query. I hope this video has helped you a lot. So if you love the video, like the video and share the video with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.